Back with another new release is Rode with the Pod Mic, a microphone that's been specifically designed with podcasters in mind. <laughs> Whether you're a complete novice or a podcasting veteran, the pod mic has been designed so that it's really easy to set up and works with any XLR interface. For all the technical specs, check them out on the screen. However, it has been optimised to work with the Rodecaster Pro. The two, in fact, go hand in hand. Check out our review over here. But we want to see what this microphone is actually capable of. So let's put it to the test. Maybe somewhere like this office space, right here. Just like this one. Or here. Or this. Some podcasters may use a heavily soundproofed or controlled environment to record their podcasts. Of course, studios like this work best with microphones. But we're going to see how it performs in lots of different environments. We're here in Gather and Gather, Manchester, a busy cafe. As you can hear, there's coffee machines going, there's people talking, there's even music in the background, and you can still hear me pretty clearly. You as a podcaster might need to come to a, a cafe to come and meet up with a guest, or even just record on location. The pod mic can help you do that. Imagine you want to record that important meeting, but you're in a meeting room just like this one that hasn't got much sound treatment on it. There's loads of hard surfaces, the acoustics aren't great, there's lots of sort of echoey reverberants, and outside you've got a busy main road. Well, the pod mic can handle that exceptionally well. It's very directional. If you hook it up to the roadcaster, you'll be absolutely fine. I think this is a really capable microphone. It was especially good at reducing ambient noise, especially when we were in the cafe earlier. You might want to do that with your podcast. You might want to go out and record on location and this pod mic is perfectly capable of doing that. One thing that I will say about it that's a bit of an issue is it's quite trebly. It's not as bassy as its competitors. So if that might be an issue for you, it might not be the microphone for you. But otherwise, despite that, it is a very good microphone. If I was recommending it to a certain type of podcaster, I'd say it's for someone who's looking to upgrade from their standard USB setup to a more professional setup. It's also quite lightweight, quite compact, so it's good for on location recording and it's not too complex to set up, so there's nothing complicated about it. You can just get it set up and record your podcast wherever you are. But we want to know what you think about this microphone. We want to know what your opinions and thoughts are. So let us know, please, on our socials at podcast.com. Slide into our DMs or say hello at podcast.co.